Uh, good evening, class. Today we are going to be looking at uh, mean absolute deviation of ungrouped data. So when I say ungrouped data, it's the kind of data that is not presented using that table. So like you can see what I have here now, it's not arranged. So if you have grouped data, that's going to be another formula entirely. And again, you know, when you say grouped data, you are looking at a data that is given to you using table. That is why you'll be having a open class interval and a closed class, uh, open class interval and a closed uh, class interval. So I think we're going to have a video on that subsequently. So let's look at this now. This is ungrouped data. It's not arranged. You see, and it's not using, it's not presented with, with table. It's not presented with table. Do you understand that? Okay. So if you want to solve this kind of question now, you want to find an absolute deviation using this particular, using this information which is on group data, this is the formula you have to use. If you are using group data, another form, you have another formula for that. So because we are solving, uh, we, are using, we are looking for a mean absolute deviation of group data, so we are going to use uh, this uh, formula. And this is the formula, summation, absolute value x minus mean absolute. So how do you do that? So we just have, just have to have our table. So let's have our table now. We are going to form, the table is going to be formulated based on the formula. So we have x. So let's have our x. We have x minus mean. We have x minus mean. This is our arithmetic mean, average. Then we have absolute value. Absolute value, what does that mean? Absolute value means even if your answer is negative. I take it again. Even if your answer is negative, you are going to convert it to positive. So you have minus 2, you take 2. So you have minus 4, you take 4. You don't have minus. So okay, so we have absolute x minus mean. So that one is different from brackets. It's different from brackets. Do you understand? Okay? So, so let's have this now. Let's have our x. So how do we get our x? Our x are this number is given to us. This one will get up. So 1x, another x, another x, another x. So we can take it one after the other. One. We have our x to the second one two. We have the first one to be four. We have another one to be three. So here we need x minus mean. So it means that we need mean here. So because we need mean, we need to find our mean first. We don't have to find the average mean, of course. So let's quickly find our average mean. So it's going to be hard all of this together. One plus two, three plus four, or uh, that is seven plus three, that is ten. 10 over the number 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's going to give us 2.5. So our mean is going to be 2.5. So we have 1 minus 2.5. So this one, 2. Okay, let me make it like this. So we can have space for the answer. 2.5 equals what? 1 minus 2.5. 1 minus 2.5 is what? Can someone tell me that? That's going to be what? Minus. 1.5 minus 1.5 1.5 minus 1.5 then 2 the x the minus the mean again 2.5 so that's going to be 2 minus 2.5 that's going to be minus 0.5 then 4 4 minus 2.5 don't forget that you get x that's going to give us 1.5 then 3 minus 2.5 that's going to give us 0.5. Now, don't forget we are not just taking the deviation because this is deviation, but we are taking absolute deviation now. We don't just take ordinary deviation. We are taking absolute. That is why this sign is there. Positive only. So we take the positive only 1.5. We don't take the minus. We don't take the minus again. 0.5. We don't. This is positive already. 1.5. This is positive already. 0.5. So what we do now is, so we just have it here. So it means sum, add all of this together. If you add all of this together, what is it going to give you? 1.5.5, that is 2. 2 plus 1.5, that is going to be uh, 3.5. 3.5 plus what? Plus 5, that is going to be 4. So the sum of this now is 4. Divided by their number is what? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. So I mean, after the division is 1. That is how to solve it. Please subscribe and get more videos.